Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 9th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes and volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here, always 304 angstroms, checking out all the plasma on our sun today. Last 48 hours of imagery provided by SDO, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Last 48 hours incoming, we do have that bright incoming region that produced an M-class solar flare. There's also on the left-hand side, watching some more energy cresting in. And a sizable C-class flare to talk about. In the last few images, you'll see it in the outgoing position, but in an Earth-facing position as it was more towards the equator. You'll be able to see it more in another light. Watching the last few images there, small flash. Having a look at multi-spectrum, everything on top of each other here, active region, as I said, and as well right there, C-class solar flare in the last few images. So that is a very recent C-class flare. Other than that, we are experiencing heightened space weather event geomagnetic activity has been up and down and two minor coronal hole players but this plasma filament across the southern hemisphere I'm just hoping she stays put I want to thank everybody for tuning in I hope you enjoyed these videos keeping humanity aware and prepared if you do don't forget to smack that like button solar x-ray flux as you see Jumped right up into C-class range very recently. Solar X-ray flux is low, and so is geomagnetic activity. Having a look here at Alaska 3, still showing the remnants of the comet, sun-diving comet. Real-time solar wind sitting at 343 kilometers per second. As I said, we had a couple, a few jumps there, 529 kilometers per second. And 501, and as well 477. But we're steady right now at about 344 kilometers per second. Give you a quick look on how that looks with our magnetosphere. These are the cut planes showing our solar winds. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing the yellow circle as Earth and all the energy that is on its way. We are expecting space weather event. 10th into the 11th and as well 17th into the 18th providing we don't have any earth facing flares so heads up stay aware and prepared and stay tuned with daily events worldwide schumann resonance for today a power of six quick look here at the telemetry quality of 6.8 amplitude six and a power of four and then we get to earthquakes as we started out very busy and large, very deep earthquakes. Rare here, Fiji, I've never seen so many deep earthquakes. 665 kilometers depth and as well, 7.0, 6.6 .6 at 623, 628. So three very large earthquakes all over 600 kilometers per sec or 600 kilometers depth. I've seen some deep aftershocks as well. About four through the region. Reverberation spreading across the Philippines plate. 4.7 there to Bilo, Philippine Islands. As well a 4.8 here, Java, Indonesia. 4.7 Taiwan. 4.6. Notice they're all around the same magnitude. Just reverberating across the planet after those large earthquakes. 5.0 there off the coast of Japan. 4.5 there, Izu Islands. Still watching earthquakes in Nepal, another 4.5 today. And a larger earthquake here, Italy. Portofino reported yesterday 4.5, and today in Morata, Italy, 5.6 earthquake. So heads up, we could be seeing even larger earthquake to follow after all this activity through Fiji today. South America, still way too quiet. Only reporting one yesterday from Bolivia. And 5.1 Papayal, Peru today. 42 kilometer depth though. And watching the Caribbean plate rock here. Punta Cana, 
3.7 largest through the region. And then a very quiet North American plate compared to what we're used to, hovering under 200 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Something is coming, something is brewing, and I do believe that it could be right up into the California coast and into the Pacific Northwest. Heads up, everybody. This is the look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Very deep earthquakes recently in Fiji and many of them. No tsunamis were put out, but we are on watch for a larger and shallower earthquake. Be prepped, stay aware and prepared. North American plate, maybe even Alaska. Having a look here at world weather, we're going to look at a Ventu sky weather forecast showing the forecast models for Hurricane Nicole as it most likely will be a Category 1, if not a Category 2, if it heats up over the next 24 hours, but literally is making landfall late tonight. Rain bands are already coming in now, but this eye of the storm is set to come into Orlando, Florida, and head straight across the Florida Panhandle north of Tampa Bay, and then up into Georgia, and then South Carolina, North Carolina. Watch for, of course, very stormy conditions all the way up the coast here in, up into Friday, and then another system coming from the Gulf to follow after that. And this will collide with an Alberta Clipper, so watch for very strong windy conditions as that system, as these systems join forces over Ontario and Quebec. Lots of rain here still heading along the west coast. Winter storm conditions across northern Rockies. Gulf low developing next Monday, 14th. Heading up the coastline and into the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Colombia, Venezuela, Bogota. But then watching extreme weather here develop Saturday into Sunday over Buenos Aires, down into Chile, very large low affecting you guys there. Africa, stormy conditions moving southward over the next couple days. South Africa will see torrential downpours and strong winds with those low pressure centers. Overlooking Europe, one low moving out of Italy the next couple of days, but then watch as these lows from the Atlantic start to penetrate the coastline, heading in one into heading into France next week. And then long range forecast, two pretty strong systems heading through the Mediterranean and of some snow moving in from eastern parts of Europe in the long range forecast. Higher elevations around Italy will see significant amounts of snow over the next few days with those systems. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, no major typhoons developing in the long range, but a couple cyclones, or low pressure centers here to watch, one heading into India, and the other one developing on the other side, possibly heading up into Yemen in the long range forecast, or completely breaking down and heading along the equator. Overlooking Australia, daily evaporation rains, stormy conditions increasing by Saturday into Sunday, torrential downpours as that low pressure system comes through. So flood watches in effect, as there are many flood watches across the world in effect for many. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by natural disasters and as well earthquakes, big earthquake warning, and as well extreme cold warning. Give you a quick look here, leave you looking at the temperature forecast for the next few days as we do have some extreme cold temperatures heading into parts of the Midwest, United States, and of course Quebec, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Minus 27 and colder without the wind chills.
Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world